is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is um, I guess this one will be the last story. But next time I'll read another story like like in the circus everything what we have read. And today we're going to read the last story. Yes, see, I'm going to read them. <laughs> okay, today's title is A Forever Promise, The New Heaven and the New Earth. Let's read. John was a disciple of Jesus. One day, Jesus came to him in a vision, shining like the sun. Don't be afraid, said Jesus. I, I died. Now, I'll live forever. So John was a disciple of Jesus, and one day Jesus came to him in a vision, and he was very shining like the sun, and Jesus said, don't be afraid, I died, now I live forever. Then John saw a new heaven and the new earth, and, and new earth, God's promise, new creation, the first heaven and the first earth were gone, and the sea with them were gone. And then John saw a new heaven and new earth. It was God's. Promised new creation, the first heaven. Question How did Jesus appear to John? Number one, uh, shining like the sun. <laughs> and number two, mountain. And number three, coconut tree. Number one is the correct answer. Next, John saw, saw God's holy city, the New Jerusalem. It was coming down from heaven. It was beautiful, like a bird right on her wedding day, ready to meet her husband. So, next. John saw God's holy city, the New Jerusalem, and it was shining and it was beautiful. <laughs> like in angels sing, it always sings like that <laughs> in the story. Then, John heard a loud voice coming from the throne of God saying, From now on, God will make his home among his people, and they will all live together. Then, John heard a loud voice coming from the throne. It was of God saying, And God said, from now on, God will make his home among his people, and they will all live together. In this new heaven and new earth, there won't be any tears because no one will be in pain and no one will die. Those things are gone forever. So in the in this new heaven and the new earth, new earth God said there won't be any tears. No one will be sad because there will be no pain and no no <laughs> no one will die. 
and those things will oh, and those things will gone forever. <laughs> They all look happy. <laughs> then the voice from the throne said, I am the beginning and the end. If you're thirsty, come to me, and I will give you the water of life. Then the voice said, God said from the throne, oh. <laughs> I am the beginning and the end. If you're thirsty, come to me, and I'll give you the water of life. Question. Will there be pain and death in the new heaven and the new earth? No, there will be no pain. <laughs> no pain and death. And there also be new. Yeah. My new word is for my children, those who are faithful to me. I'm making all things new. It's true. You can count on it. So God said, "This heaven, the new, new earth, new world." is for my children who are faithful to God and believe that in Jesus that Jesus has died for us and he has raised from heaven if you believe that one day you can also go to heaven <laughs> The new world will be for those who believe in Jesus and are faithful to him. True. Yesterday I read the Bible story and next time I'll read another story. There is another story but the story is kind of... What do I have to say? <laughs> I don't know the word. I... Just search the, the world word. <laughs> this story will be like the summary of what we read. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Next time I'll read God's good news. Be the part of the story. <laughs> yes, the part of the Bible story just enjoy the next time. See you next time. Bye!